Motorcycle clubs have had a bad rap these days. The restrictions that the law is placing on patch clubs seems to be growing by the minute. But one club that is still going strong through all of that is Life and Death MC. They are a true old school club. And in this segment, we farewell their founding member and national prayers, Dr. Bob. In 1973, I started this club, along, along with about half a dozen other followers. It started off as just a fun thing to do. You wouldn't think it was going to be here today. It just became part of me. I couldn't shake it. It was just something I loved. We're an old school club, that's for sure, yeah. A men's club. We go for rides every, um, say, every six weeks. We do have our weekend overnighters, like saying, don't go down to Wiseo or up to um, Borogamba Dam or family orientated. You know, we do it once a year where we um, have the kids and stuff, we hire a caravan park out. It's had its ups and downs, like clean club right through up to the, to the late 80s and then we fell out of sorts with the law there, trying to keep up with the Joneses, so selling a bit of pot and a bit of something here and and that didn't pay off. You know, it worked out and fused with the jail and then we thought, well, pull our heads in, let's go back old school. You have these other clubs now, it's just about numbers and they patch over this person, patch over that club. And, they have their disarmament amongst themselves and they actually jump to another club, you know, it's, it's not how it should be. But I still reckon people have a right to be who they want to be. You know? And we, we do no harm, we'll, we'll be sitting down in the pub having a good old time, then I'll rush the public in there to say, listen, now let these bikers in there again, really puts a damper on everything. Wait, there, there's, there's, look, it's like we're at war virtually, two clubs virtually. But you know, we've got nothing against what they do, they've got to do their job, but, but I hate them being a puppet for the, for the government. If we're doing wrong, yes, jump on us. I lived on our Windsor Road there at one stage at Vineyard and some um, bikes broke down out the front, just right practically in my front yard on, the, on Windsor Road. And I went out and said, oh yeah, we've got, offered them to help me hand tools and, and they, um, they said they were starting a motorway club called Brotherhood. So anyway, I was just yapping on with them in the yard while they're mucking around on the motorbike. And um, from that time on, we've been good friends. Hurst, he was, I've been, uh, he went to my, he married me and my missus. I uh, went to his wedding and his gave party and stuff like that. I mean, uh, we're pretty well connected in a lot of ways. All the social clubs, you know, we, don't, we don't, don't sit down and look down or play tough. Anyway, because really, it doesn't get you anywhere. You don't get, make many friends. I've been in this club uh, 45 years, started in 1973. It's time to retire in my view, at 65 years of age. I need to, need to put some time into myself. So moving out west, out in the quiet, along with the country people, and settle back and just enjoy life. There's gonna be a nice retirement party for me on this coming Saturday. We've got one of the best rock and roll bands playing on that night, the Sons of Mercury. And now, uh, they're going to really pour it on really good. Then we've got uh, a singer that sings in between. It sounds just like, like Neil Diamond, a lot. Uh, middle of the night, around about 10 or something like that. We'll, uh, some clean fun with jelly wrestling. The girls will get in their cozies and jump around the water. Hopefully they pull in some other women all will laugh and carry on. Nothing over the top. Eat the free food, uh, free grog. Fun. Obviously it's just a lot of fun. It's all about enjoying See, see me off, the fellas all going to see me off uh, for 45 years of my service with the foot fellas and starting the club. It's going to be um, sad but happy as well on the, on the same day like I'm sitting. Other than that, I'm just uh, the old man on the mountain, I assume. <laughs> for advice and stuff. Yeah, yeah.